All right. Let's have a look at some of the basics before we get our hands dirty. So what is virtualization? It is the creation of a virtual rather than an actual version of something. And that something could be an operating system, a server, a storage device, or a network resource. And the way it achieves that is that it creates an underlying software layer called hypervisor, which emulates the physical hardware on your server or laptop or your computer. And that hardware that it emulates could be your CPU, your RAM, input type, output, and your network. A key feature is that the guest operating system has no idea that it is on a virtualized hardware. So let's have a look at a picture to understand things better. So this is your hardware, you know, your laptop or your server or your computer. And it has some basic devices like a CPU, a RAM, your storage, and your network ports. And you'll install your host operating system, you know, like the operating system that you have on your laptop. Right? What you'll do is, to enable virtualization, you'll install something called a hypervisor on top of your host operating system. And this hypervisor will then allow you to create what is called virtual machines, which are the virtual versions of your physical computer or your laptop. And these virtual machines, with the help of hypervisor, will emulate the underlying hardware. Right? So rather than a physical CPU, you will have your virtual CPU. Rather than a physical RAM, you will have a virtual RAM and a virtual hard disk. And then on these virtual machines, you will install your guest operating systems. So for example, if this is your Windows host, then you can maybe on this one install Windows. This one you can install Linux. And maybe this one you can install, let's say another version of Linux code like Ubuntu. So this may be your command line Linux and that this one you might install, you know, some GUI features. And the beauty of everything is that these guest operating systems will have no knowledge that they are on virtual hardware. They'll just think they're like on a physical hardware, just this, just like this operating systems think. And VirtualBox is one such application that provides you the hypervisor features. So that's taken us to this slide bit and I'll need to now explain what is VirtualBox. It is a cross-platform virtualized application installed on a computer and it allows users to run multiple operating systems. Right. That's a mouthful. Now what that means is, is that cross-platform means that you can install VirtualBox on multiple types of operating systems. So like you can install VirtualBox if you have a Mac. You can also install VirtualBox if you have a Windows machine. And it allows you to run multiple operating systems at the same time on your host computer. So you can have three, four, you know, um, depending on how many resources are available on your physical machine, you can have uh, Simultaneously, you can have multiple operating systems running on the same host. Now some common terms. So a virtual machine is a specialized environment that is created within the host operating system to run a guest operating system. Now what is a host operating system? It is the operating system that is installed on your physical computer. Now, what is a guest operating system? It is an operating system that is running inside a virtual machine. So, let's go back to our picture. This is your underlying hardware. The operating system installed on top of your underlying hardware, physical hardware, is called a host operating system. 
A virtual machine is a specialized environment that is created using a hypervisor and this emulates your physical hardware. And a guest operating system is installed on top of virtual machine. Now, this is all well and good, but what are the benefits and why would we use virtualization? So, the biggest use case is that you can have multiple operating systems on a single computer. So, I remember back in the day when I started working, I needed to install an application that would only work on the Windows XP. They forgot to um, bring in uh, compatibility for newer versions of um, Windows. So, even though my laptop that was provided by to me by my work, was a Windows 7 machine, I could not install that application which was, which would have made my life easier because it could only be installed on Windows XP. So guess what I did, I installed a hypervisor, created my virtual machine, installed Windows XP on that virtual machine and now I could, I was able to run that application. Another thing is, when you are testing stuff in your lab, you know, or even in your production environments, when you have to test something. So, let's say you're applying a patch on your server in a production environment. Now, that's a risky thing sometimes. And just to avoid that risk, what you can do is you can use a technology feature called a snapshot. Or So, you can do a snapshot before you make your changes or install your patch. And then if something goes wrong, then you can restore to your snapshot. And now your machine would be back to the stage where it was before the snapshot was installed. We'll talk about snapshots later in this course. A third use case is that it makes it very easy to install software. So for example, now if you have to install, let's say, a certain software and you have to distribute it or you have to install that software on multiple machines you can install that software on just one virtual machine and then export that virtual machine as an appliance so next time you have to install that software somewhere else it's just a matter of importing the appliance that you exported before you import it everything's there as you wanted it to be and in the way that we tested initially so thank you for watching this lecture and i will see you in the next one thanks a lot bye